Hey, what's up everyone, Fear here. In this video, we'll be going over events, tips, tricks, strategies that I've used in events, passing on what I've learned and know, and how to win those muscles. First, I think it's important for you guys to know that events are not permanent. They may or may not be cycled with each update, generally lasting the same amount of time as a season, which is two weeks. I don't think many people knew that, and so now you do. As you guys know, the main currency awarded from events is event tickets. You can see that above. It says mine expire in 13 days. You'll need to make sure that you spend these before they expire, as once they expire, you will not be able to use them again. So they have no use after that expiration date. Now, there are three main types of events, and I'll go over and break down each one for you and how I went about developing strategies to win them. I've won two two-day events now, first place, and one 21-hour event, first place. All of them have awarded muscles, and none of them contained any crate buying. They were all kills, wins, trophy hunts, whatever. The first type of event that we're gonna be going over is called Top Predator. This is simply how many players can you kill. With this event, only player kills count. Guards do not, so make sure you aren't spending too much time on guards when you could be killing players. This event is pretty straightforward, is it, as it is just a grind. I've won one two-day event of this type with around 3,000 player kills, and the biggest tips I can give you are make sure your characters are high enough level to really grind out those kills each game, and well, grind. This event is definitely just a time investment, and if you are high enough level and you have the time, definitely go for it because it is possible for anyone and you do not have to be level 16. Although it helps, the higher the level, the better, obviously, because it'll be easier for you to kill more people um, with that level advantage. Now, the second event type is called Trophy Hunt. It's pretty straightforward as the name states, just hunt for trophies. The top three finishers in each match will gain points with the most points being given for a first place victory. Now, strategy for this event is definitely much different than the top predator event. You are going for trophies, which means kills do not matter. While I'm not a big fan at all of the snorkel and passive play style, it definitely is a valid strategy for this event to make sure you're consistently finishing in the top three. But again, you know, support wildlife and Zuba's development and get those character levels up. You'll have a lot more fun and you'll find yourself naturally winning more games, which in turn will mean more points in these events. The third type of event is called Double Trouble. Partner up with a friend, earn kills, and top three in duo matches to gain points. In this event, you'll want to find a partner who you can consistently play with and earn those points. This will definitely be a team effort and time investment for both of you if you're going for top three. So make sure that you have someone to really grind those points out with for this one. The final event type relates to a specific character and calls for killing said character as well as getting kills with said character. So for example, last week there was a Finn event, get kills with Finn and kill Finns. And this event from what I've seen has generated a crowd mentality. So if the rewards are good and one of these character events is going on, you will definitely notice a lot more of that specific character in your games. Last week with the Finn events, I have to say I've never seen more fins in my life. For this event, you'll simply want to hunker down and play with that character as much as you can. But that said, those weak events, they are definitely a marathon, not a sprint. The two days and the 21 hours definitely would treat them more as a sprint. The events that I've placed first in, um, I have just really sat down and gone for many hours at a time before taking a break and doing something else, resetting, and then going for more points. So in conclusion, there's no way around it. These events are definitely a grind to get those muscles and you'll need to put in the time and effort to win them. It definitely does help to be higher level. So if you love Zuba like me and have the money to spare, definitely get those characters up. The higher the better, of course, but it's important to know that you do not need level 16 to compete in these events. It really is just a grind, and the more time you can play, the better the chance you'll have at finishing top three. I do believe in the future, there will be leaderboards for events. I know that's something a lot of people wanted, 
I definitely want to see it because if you don't know where you place, you're just not motivated to, to keep going if you feel like you're behind. And similarly, if you feel like you're ahead and then you do not place in the top three, well, that can be pretty devastating. And I understand both sides. But again, don't worry, there will be leaderboards in the future. I have spoken to wildlife employees and they have confirmed that is something that they want to get in the game. Well, that's it for this video, guys. The giveaway for my last video will be announced in the next one. Hope you learned something and happy hunting.